Question on today's news: the markets are falling, the stock markets are falling. Um, the dollar is strengthening significantly. The pound has dropped. What is the White House's take on on that and the broader implications for the U.S. economy? So the stock market, uh, as you've heard us say many times, is just one measure of the economy that uh, 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 that shows how the economy is doing. And so uh, we are watching, always watching uh, these different indicators closely, uh, including the stock market. It's also important to look at what's happening on Main Street. This is something that we think is important, as you've heard us talk about, uh, to also look at. We have one of the strongest job markets on record. Well, we always know, uh, you know, uh, we uh, we. There's always more work uh, to do, but the president, with his economic plan, whether it's the American Rescue Plan uh, or it's the Inflation Reduction Act, all of these are pieces of the, the president's economic plan uh, that we're going to continue uh, to work through and uh, is going to make sure we don't leave anybody behind. But again, this is one of the strongest job markets that we have seen on record. And, uh, and so what we are seeing, and I've said this before, you've heard this from Brian Deese, is a transition to a more uh, steady and stable uh, growth, and that's what we're currently uh, uh, seeing and in the process of moving the economy into. Uh, yeah, so the Federal Reserve is saying that the economy will significantly slow down to growing just 0.2% for the entirety of this year and then 1.2% for next year. Is this the stable growth the president is moving us towards? You're talking about what um, what he said yesterday? The yeah, it was the projections the Federal Reserve came out. They, they projected the economy would grow at just 0.2% this year and 1.2% next year, which is pretty slow growth. And I'm just curious, is this the stable growth that you're talking about? So, I mean, I talked about this a little bit already, uh, how we're coming off of last year's historic economic growth. A lot of that is because of the work of this president and Democrats in Congress passing the American Rescue Plan, which puts us in a position where we saw uh, the most stable growth, uh, uh, strongest growth that we have seen in modern, uh, in modern history. So it's no surprise that the economy at this point is going to slow down, is going to cool off just a bit as the Federal Reserve takes action to bring down inflation. So the Fed's projection, as you mentioned, of growth over this calendar year impl implies growth between 1% and 2% in the next two quarters. So our goal is to bring down inflation. That's what we have been doing uh, for the past several months, making sure that we're doing everything that we can to give the American public a little bit more breathing room without sacrificing all of the historic gains that we made uh, this past year and life-changing economics gains this country has made over uh, the last 19 months, this past year, year and a half. So given the encouraging initial signs that we have seen uh, on inflation and the continued str strength of uh, growth in the job market, so we believe in uh, the transition remains possible. We believe that we will get to a strong and stable uh, growth. We believe that we'll, we will see that, that cooling uh, that you hear economists talking about. Now on inflation, one more if I could. Um, the, uh, Americans are making tough choices related to inflation. And last week they saw the president do the celebration during the Inflation Reduction Act um, when core inflation rose for the first time in five months on that day. This week there's another celebration 48 hours after the Fed chairman be more, said there'd be more economic pain. Uh, is that optics of those two celebrations insensitive to what Americans are going through? So the president has always, in, when he talks about the economy, has made clear to understand what the American families are going through, what the American people are going through. He understands that uh, the economy and inflation in particular, high cost, uh, is, uh, is, is um, giving some pain, to your point, to Americans. That is why we, we passed, that is why Democrats in Congress passed Inf In Inflation Reduction Act. By the way, no Republicans supported that. And as you know, you've heard me say it many times, you've heard the president say it many times, it is going to lower costs, and it is one of the most the most historic investment to fight climate change. As we are talking about extreme weather, I've gotten multiple questions on Puerto Rico and what the people people of Puerto Rico, our brothers and sisters, are going through, uh, what, what may happen in this hurricane season. A lot of that is, is going to uh, be helped uh, by the work that this president has done, bipartisan infrastructure law. Uh, again, and the Inflation Reduction Act. So we are doing the work. We're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to work. We've seen gas prices go down for 14 weeks straight. And that, again, is because of the work that this president is doing. So yes, we understand what the American people are, are going through.